Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll see how to register microservices with Spring Cloud using Netflix Eureka. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. In one of the previous tutorials, we had seen we have seen uh, an overview of uh, Netflix Eureka. What is Netflix Eureka and why we should be using it? You can go through this tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be creating the employee service uh, this employee service it will be having two modules the employee producer and the employee consumer the employee producer will be producing JSON data while the employee consumer will be consuming it uh, using the rest template uh, in this tutorial we will not be making use of any spring cloud uh, uh, Netflix components like Eureka in the next tutorial we will be registering the employee producer module to the Eureka service registry so let's uh, begin with the implementation for this tutorial. First we'll be creating the employee producer module. So go to Eclipse and create a Maven project. the dependencies from here. We only have the Spring Boot Starter Web dependency here. Next we will be creating the domain class employee. Next, we'll expose uh, an API with slash employee URL. Finally, we'll define the Spring Boot main class with the uh, Spring Boot application. So these are the only changes needed for the employee producer module currently. Start this as a Java application. So our application has started. Next, we'll go to local. What's called activity slash employee. So here we can see that uh, we get the JSON data correctly. So we have exposed this microservice correctly. Next, we'll be creating the employee consumer module, which will be consuming this uh, API that we have exposed here. Next, we'll start with the employee consumer module. So, create a new Maven project. Here also we only have the Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. We'll be creating the consumer controller client class.
Flex will be creating the Spring Boot Hello World application class with the Spring Boot application annotation. So in the consumer client, if you'll see, we have hard-coded the URL uh, where we have deployed the producer module and we are just consuming this data and uh, we are printing it. In the Hello World application, since uh, this is Spring Boot and we are using Java config, so we have created a bean uh, of the consumer client class and the same we are using to call the get employee method. So run this method here. Oh, so the, what this is saying is that since we are already using port uh, 8080, so uh, because our Spring Producer module is running in it, so in the we'll create a new file, application dot properties, and we'll specify some another port for this application. So just copy this server.port and we'll again run this. So here we can see that uh, it has successfully consumed the API that is exposed by the producer class and here it is printing this. So in this application, we are currently hard coding the location of the uh, producer module suppose if the producer module uh, it is moved to some other location with some other uh, port number then we'll also have to make changes to the code in the consumer uh, module uh, in the next tutorial we'll see that we'll register the employee producer module to the eureka server and then later on we'll be uh, also uh, using uh, service discovery uh, for uh, getting the address of the employee producer so then we will not have to make use of uh, this hard coding of the URL here uh, the source code for this tutorial it can be downloaded from here uh, thank you